Oh. Hey all YouTubers, hey everybody in YouTube land. This will just be a short kind of update video, <clears throat> maybe kind of an introduction. Name here is John. I think I'll just go ahead and give you an overall shot of the workbench which is, you might notice, used to be a pool table. Um, <clears throat> I think I might be coming out with a cold. Um, I'm a ham radio operator, as well as a uh, GMRS, General Mobile Radio Service Licensee. Call signs KC9CEB and WQQM 601 notice some things on the uh, while browsing YouTube that disturb me cell phone and GPS jammers they're highly illegal the Federal Communication Commission is handing out multi-thousand dollar fines for just merely owning and operating one. Even if you've never heard about them being illegal before, they'll just smack you with the fine out of nowhere. They're actually currently running a campaign to raise awareness on this issue, basically so they can issue more fines. Another thing is the blister bubble pack cheap the cheap blister pack FRS GMRS hybrid combo radios. You have to operate them on that that particular model. May only be FRS, but the ones that are dual hybrid, you must only operate them on the FRS channels unless you have a GMRS license. And all it takes is fill out the form, send it to the FCC with 85 bucks, and you're licensed for five years, and you get eight channels. Plus the inner settle channels, but the eight top channels I'm talking about, you get full 50 watts. So, very much worth it. So don't operate on GMRS without a license or operate a cell phone jammer, because you could get fined a lot of money. Please keep that in mind. And remember, when it comes to radio, somebody is always listening. No matter if you think you're in the middle of nowhere, or nobody uses that frequency that you happen to be on, someone is listening to you, and they'll most likely report you to the government. So, please watch what you do with radio. A CB radio, not so much. If you put a big amplifier on it and start interfering with everybody's television reception and landline telephones, then yeah, maybe, but probably not. GMRS being in the middle of the UHF land mobile band you could probably get in good trouble jammers for cell phones and GPS especially so be careful hope you have a good day hope you learned a little bit to stay safe on the radio waves remember somebody is always listening <laughs>